So, it's Andre Alexis. Welcome back to Power You Podcast. I am here with Coop. Coop, how you feeling? I'm good, I'm good. Just a little close to you. You are close to me, but that's nothing new. Uh, we got special guests in the building. We have Casey Carson. How you feeling? Good. You good? Thank you for joining us. We also got Legend in the building. How you doing? What up, though? What up, though? She got stuck. Like She's this. waiting on the last name. She's like, no, I wasn't, gonna, I wasn't gonna say no last name. He, just he, he, didn't, he didn't introduce himself. With That's a how it is. Yeah, he didn't. Donna, share, seal, just one name. That's it. That's, that's your code. That's it. We love it. So, how are y'all doing today? We thank y'all for joining us. Let the people who don't know know who you are. Let my my audience know who you are. Who I am. Who you are. I am. I read your bio. Film producer, executive producer. We have a. Uh, few films out we got Asbury Park starring Glenn Plummer, Jermaine Hopkins, Snoop from the Wire, Peter Guns, uh, Glenn, what's it, Glenn Plummer? Fredo, Fredo Star. I got uh, Consequences starring a young 25 year old actor and director Eric Michael. We also have uh, Black Lives with Trey Chaney, Glenn Plummer, Leah Envy. I'm here with my partner one and only legend, writer, director. Why the fuck you ain't doing my intro? <laughs> <laughs> I got kids on this intro. Hold on, so when I, wait, 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 wait. I got, I got my shit all he mapped out. Ready. You had it already? I, I got my shit so all mapped out. So when I do the oop, you just not gonna go catch. No, no, look, I looked at it. He was waiting. He wanted his guy. I looked. picked it the tip. Let's walk off. He ain't jump. Fuck it, I'm gonna shoot it myself. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Fuck it, you know how we do. You get the next possession. You know what? I'm coming from the free throw line. Yo ball, like this. Legend, who you are? Yo ball. Who are you? I am Legend. I am Legend. No, no I'm a uh, Legend, author, writer, director, um, producer, executive producer, um, business partner, Casey Carson. Is that okay? Can I say that? Uh, How no, long y'all been partnered? It was one band, one sound. Too long. <laughs> y'all was like best friends, y'all family. Like, what's the history behind that? <laughs> Wait, is it wrong to ask men are they best friends? Like, y'all not say that? I, no, that's a legit-ass question. Man, so, so, like, so me and my best friend like, that's not no really but, like, that's and, not but when you was a little boy like you ain't have a problem with saying like that's my best friend like you know because you're a kid it's innocent you know what i'm saying i, no, I, I fucked most of my best friends the me no girl. <laughs> hey, oh, what the fuck she that's a legit question nowadays no but the facts is fun i mean but whatever you went to like to clear this we're not we're not best friends so you know that's what he's saying i've always had female best friends we're gonna be brothers today Brotherhood. Hey, look, not not down south, brother. Cause they will. Them no, but for sure, Alabama brothers. They, they for sure. Atlanta. No, oh, oh, no, I know that. that. No, that's you know, Game of Thrones be different. You know, you know what? We do that, do that. that. Do that. Uh, I've never seen it. I heard it was good, yeah, but was, I heard this season it was, or like it was yeah. some fucking siblings. So yeah, that shit was weird. Oh, that's wild as fuck. Yeah, they had like three kids together. That's against my religious beliefs. Yeah, no, that shit weird. That's crazy to watch that shit. But no, I've known this motherfucker for, uh, for a couple years now. I've been business partners for about three years. So how did y'all get into business? Uh, I actually was introduced to him through a mutual friend. I need a graphic designer for a separate business that I was working on. And I was talking every single day, all day about this project. He told me like, look, you know, I'm doing a movie. And I'm like, oh, okay. Cool. Hey, he thought I was on some. I thought it was some bullshit. You so I'm like, you hear that? That's just like, like I like true story. I never forget. I was at the movie theater. And he, we talking. He's like, yeah, I'm doing this uh this movie, blah blah blah. And I'm like, oh, send me something. Phone go off. I'm like, damn, he sent it. So I mean, from there, the rest really was history. Yeah, I ain't never been one of those people that just talks about like that. Cause everybody always be like, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Send me some. Well, no, well, you know, I'm a, you know, give me. I'm still no. working on. I tell you, I tell you, a crazy story, true story. I didn't read the movie script. We were already in business. <laughs> we was probably seventy-five thousand dollars into this. I had not wrote, read the script. Uh, was it Glenn? Was it was it Peter Guns or Jermaine Hopkins? Asking questions about this script. Oh, Jermaine. Jermaine Hopkins yeah. was here. That's the guy who played Steel and Jim's. Yeah. Sims lean on me. And he hey. asked me questions about the script, and I'm winging it. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing everything look, out. And, look, and I'm laughing. We're all together. Look, and I'm laughing because we like, they sitting up here playing pool, having this conversation. I know this motherfucker just shooting from the hip. And Jermaine Hopkins is just like. He is. So he, it, at least it was, you know. Oh, it was good. Yeah. Oh, no, it was great on my feet. I'm great. So Jermaine, leave out. He like, you ain't read the script, did you? 
I looked at him, I'm like, hell no, I ain't had time. <laughs> he like, so we really in this shit. You ain't read the script? I'm like, nigga, I trusted you. So he like, I really need you to read this. So like the next day and a half, I took, I actually sat down and read the script. He was like, oh, the script, all right. Yeah. And you wrote it, right? Yeah. Okay. And how I'm going to set every day. I hadn't read one. Just acting like you just know what's going on. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, you make the type shit. Chill, chill was hilarious. But. You know what? The crazy part was there were other things that I needed to know because I didn't come from the film. So for me, I was a student coming into this. I'm sitting there every day kind of trying to grasp all the concepts, absorb the information. I'm taking notes. So it was like, I wasn't even really worried about the script. It's like, I need to understand what everything else is happening. Like the, the words that they saying, it's like shit, necessarily. Okay, cool. I need to understand why all these other things are going on. Correct. I got you. So you just wanted to, you know, get the blueprints behind the scenes of everything. Yeah, and you work on that. Yeah, walking and pissing off people. Yeah, that's why. That's you? Oh, You're yeah. that person? Oh, no, nobody. He's, he's, he's definitely Why? That My zodiac sign is... What is it? Asshole. What is it? Asshole. What is it? That's Asshole. my zodiac sign. But what's the real one? You asshole. No, asshole. That's, that's, we, right. we got that shit stacked. Just so y'all know, she got something against Scorpios. That's pretty. And I'm just saying, you said an asshole. They typically are. Okay. Hey, my wife is Scorpio. I know a lot of Scorpios. Right, cool. Listen, look, look, but that's your wife, so you may not feel like she's an asshole. Depend on the day. See, but that's... Anybody may think they're hey, pretty... Hey, they look, just, just for the record, Capricorn's the assholes, too. Hmm. I got a Capricorn. So, wait. What's our sign? For real, real life. Oh, they say I'm on the yeah, uh, Pisces and Aquarius. I'm a, I'm a Taurus all day. <sighs> what, what's wrong with Taurus? Wrong You're with a Taurus. Taurus. My nigga. Whatever. But guess what? On that note, I'm, <laughs> reading, I'm reading the first. first. Nope, I'm reading mine first. Go ahead, boss up. Since you don't like Taurus. <laughs> it's cool. And this is what I'm going to say. But I'm reading it. You started off. You, throw it out there. you and your significant other becomes pregnant. He or she approaches you about abortion. What would be your reaction or response? I'm snip, bitch. You a goddamn lie. <laughs> <laughs> this stage of life, you know, like that I'm, I'm snip, bitch. You a goddamn lie. Listen, if it's one percent, bitch, you a lie until you prove you ain't. That's, 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 that's my answer. That's, that's my answer. Okay. This stage of life, I'm all for it. Go on out here, pay this little money. You cool with it? Yeah, Fuck. I'm selfish already. But, you know, to have a kid right now, it takes so much of your time. Do you have kids? You have kids, right? I do. But you're just saying you ain't trying to start over right now. Oh, no. I'm too far in the game to start no. over. Yeah, no, I don't you. But it's, it's the timing of it. Everybody's talking about the money. It's the time. The time is. Like I got a seven year old. Like, where you going? How long you gonna be gone? You leaving again? Man, fuck that. I just do not want to be attached to another motherfucker. Period. <laughs> How many kids you got? I got three. Yeah, I don't want to be attached to nobody else. <laughs> That's not the question. Ask him how many favorite kids he got. I got one. Me too. Y'all only got one favorite? Oh, yeah. Y'all don't love all y'all kids? I love no, all my kids. I know, I don't. It's gotta be a man thing, because I think he got a favorite too. Listen, understand something. That's Life fair. is not fair. We that's are not, not all fair. created equal. That's facts. So is it the oldest or the youngest or my, the middle? My youngest. My youngest. My, my youngest daughter. We not equal like this. I want his beard, but you see the little bullshit I get? <laughs> I didn't get that. We're not equal. No, I got I you. I want to be 6'4". I, I didn't get that. I got you. I got you. Fuck that. Damn, that's crazy. So the youngest is the... No, it's not. It's not always about the age. age. But just in this case... No, in this situation... Because, look, my, my old, youngest love me the most. My oldest... Oh, okay. My oldest... Yeah, it was it was just me and him, and it's oh, like, yeah. So he he, he an asshole, uh, twenty two year old asshole. He know everything but don't know shit. Yeah. Um, my middle one, he fuck with me just cause I'm his daddy. If I wasn't his daddy, he wouldn't fuck with me. And I it's cool. Middle. No, and it's cool cause I wouldn't fuck with him either. You know what I'm saying? Um, but my <laughs> daughter, yeah, like we on the same page. You know, I fuck with her. She fuck with me just because. Like, that's what we're going to get all my shit. Now, is it because it's girls? Y'all youngest, both y'all youngest are girls? Yeah. Is it that? Because I know the bond between... Look, I don't know, but I fuck with her the most. And she fuck with you the most. And she oh, fuck with me the most. I do it. And it ain't... Yeah. My oldest kids, like, they only... They going to be mad at shit. Look, they going to be mad at shit. They going to be like, dang, daddy left her everything. Yeah, fuck y'all niggas. But it sounds like you're trying to get out of answering the question. No, I'm going to answer the question. So if you hit me up, or if I told you I was pregnant and we pregnant, whatever the case may be, and you say... And I feel like we're going to the clinic. At this point, 
Shit, I'm with it at this point. At, at Why? T- we good. We 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 we're good. We don't need no more. I'm, you gonna, you gonna kill his baby? I don't want no more. He he was he wanna kill me. I ain't asked you about him. I'm asking about you. I'm, I'm I'm agreeing with him because at this point in my I don't want no more. You don't want no more? I don't want no more. So did you go and get the, the, the twist tie? We we literally just had a baby three months ago. I don't want no more. I don't want no more. Well, y'all ain't sleeping in none of that. No, we not sleeping. We got Irish twins, so one before that is one years out. So yeah. <laughs> we're not sleeping sleeping what the at fuck all. What's the Irish twin? They white? No. <laughs> She is a little young. They, y'all got they both baby. born in the same year. They bright as fuck, but no. <laughs> no, their birthday is the same month. Like, they were some white ass baby. They were 11 months apart. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're not yeah. even a year apart. Good luck. I know, right? So, yeah. I, I, yeah that nigga was like, I'm out. She's like, shit, I'm back in. Listen. No, but. Yeah. Y'all didn't wait to. No, we time. waited. We, we waited we, the time. No, literally. What did the, I day, the day they said. Like, you, okay, so it's six weeks, no. two hours. One we, minute. That nigga was that like, I'm in here. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't wait. We didn't wait. No, it was exactly six weeks. We did wait. We did five. No, nigga, we waited a whole six You were asleep. No, <laughs> no, no, she, was she had a little hey, title no, all that night. You waited. He didn't. No, 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 no. We definitely waited. You if know, you do the best. Look, that nigga, look, that nigga marked off the X's on the calendar you and shit. Like, she yeah. thought it was the wrong date. <laughs> Baby, we here. <laughs> he just switched it up. He switched up the whole thing. Like, like I got a new calendar made. Switch that shit up. Like, I got hey, listen, her. Listen. <laughs> Put me in the game, it's coach. Cool. It'll it's never cool. happen again, though. Ain't that what they said the first time? How many kids y'all got? No, I ain't We have five. Oh, shit. We did family of five. Okay, that's a beautiful thing. You know. And another reason why we don't need no fucking more. Okay. Yeah, they expensive as shit. And kids are great. time, like you said. You said kids are great. Kids are great. No, they are. Yeah, they be cute for a second, but then you be like, Tell my kids right now, listen. They cute in the daytime, but at night, they, at yeah, night, no, they, they like. They I'm look. honest with my kids. What you you niggas better them? have some special skills so I'm not paying for college. Okay. I agree but, with that. Hey, but you know, I feel like, like on some real shit, what? if you know the goal is to get to college, right? right? Yeah. Like, I don't understand why motherfuckers wait till like junior year and be like, okay, well, what? Yeah, no, but like, for Like, I told my son in kindergarten, nigga, you going to college, I'm not paying for it. Like, I'm not about to sit back and hype it up like, oh, well, I got this college fund and yeah. this, that, and the other. No, nigga. You better do something. Either get good grades, play a trumpet, or who? Something. Like, because here's, here's the reality. Like, and everybody always talks about that on pro shit. If a kid has a decent GPA and can make a fucking free throw, somebody's going to give him a scholarship. Yeah. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Even if it ain't nothing more than the GPA. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What you but, but, you, but, ain't, you ain't coming. No, but somebody's willing to pay for that shit. No, yeah. for real. You know what I mean? So it's like, so to be like, oh, well, we didn't. That means the parents failed to plan completely. Like, write some essays. It's a bunch of scholarships. Yeah, no, but, you, but get you get it for being left-handed. You, get, you know what I'm saying? Some so, stuff. You get it for, for being black. We got, we got but, left-handed kids. We do? Oh. Yeah, it's left-handed. That nigga don't know them kids. Know it's your card. It's time for your card. Hey, it's time for your card. It's okay. Hey, hey, hey them your babies. Them no, your babies. So what's the what's the process? Start to finish, um, creating the movie and everything like that. The pre-production, post-production, all that. Like, Start to finish. Yeah. Gotta have a concept. Gotta have an okay. idea. So you write as well. Yep. Okay. So if somebody came to you with an idea. You hold on. You see this nigga's facial expression, right? I know, right? That's why he's like, yep. He gonna <laughs> say whatever. Hey, hey. Yep. You. I ain't talking about just head. Hold right. on. No. All right. No. Okay. Okay. You write films. Yes. Do you write films? Okay, I, 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 I write screenplays. We oh. turn them into movies. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So how, what's, how long does it usually take? Hold on. No, no. Fuck all that. How long have you been doing this? Since I was a kid. Look at my bio. I got a Hey, look, I'm about to interview this motherfucker. No, I'm always okay. So tell me about these screenplays you read. Listen, I'm glad he brought you because you tell him. Right now, what happens, I've got a partner, and I kind of like the stories a little bit better in mind. I'm honest. So we had been going with his. Once he runs out of ammunition, pull out my side. You, but you, you got that shit over I there, got right? Hundred percent. Okay, that's how that's working. That's what's up. Okay, so let's get into this. Tell Bush. us about what's dropping. What is it? July twenty second. Okay. We gonna be there. Bel Air Theater, Red Carpet Affair, Absence of Innocence, starring Denzel Manny, Mr. Two L's, Kia B, Trey Chaney, uh, Drew Newman. Talani Felton, Bishop, Future Bishop, Future Bishop. We got a few newbies in here. We got uh, some more Moeta Jackson. We got Lola. 
We got Sunshine. Oh, what is it about without right. giving the whole... To give, yeah. So this is the story of a gentleman named Torres Maxwell. Torres Maxwell is a athlete. Who, he was a college athlete that went pro. He had an injury. He took his money and started a marketing firm. This is somebody who is an egotistical, arrogant asshole. Very you gotta say narcissist. God, that's the bug. I went. That was my start. You gotta use the buzzword, man. <laughs> He's an egotistical, arrogant asshole who is very ain't narcissistic. That what, ain't that what a narcissist is? But I like to put you it all together. Definition. Like, you gave the long-ass version. I do, but that's what I, that's how I describe Y'all myself. Y'all do that often? Like, that's how I describe like, just, myself. Just narcissist. <laughs> Get to the fucking point. Well, you got to listen. So I know about it, all your viewers. I got some yeah. dummies on my page. How is it on the set with y'all two? Just like this. Just like this. I believe <laughs> so that. So the actors be like, what the fuck going on? No, no they not. Y'all no, don't no, do that for no, no. no, we do. What you yeah, mean? Yeah, we they do. do. Oh, but they, they, know know they understand this is how we are. Yeah. They don't, they don't, yeah, it's just another day we're going to Hey, dog, look. I need to go live again. Sure. I need to go live again. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I did. You got to go see. You got to. Why need to laugh? So, as I was saying, Torres is an egotistical, arrogant asshole. Very narcissistic. Mm-hmm. He has the world by the balls. Plenty of money. He meets a woman that he is super intrigued by. And what he doesn't realize is as he's pursuing her, he is also being pursued. Mm. So we got a lot of twists and turns in there. A lot of plot twists, but it's going to definitely be something that's going to keep your attention from start to finish. It's going to make a lot of sense. And it's going to it's a, it's a drama thriller. How long did it take you guys to film? Yeah, we tried in ten days. <laughs> it's all about the preparation. You know, you hear people pre production is everything. I keep you, hearing you that. hear people talk about once we get on camera, that's the easy part. Yeah. So when you say what's the beginning, the beginning is having an idea and putting it on paper. Okay. At that point, you know, you got your script, you're going through and making sure that everything makes sense. That's when we're gonna do a bunch of arguing. But you talk about at the next step when you're having your casting call and you get these people that are coming in to embody these characters. You are putting together the cast, but you gotta have a production team. So, you know, we know who's our camera guy, who's gonna do sound, uh, who's gonna do light. You understand and having your your location. You need a location actor, somebody who's gonna say, hey, this is a great spot for this, this is a great spot. So you gotta have a team that's strong. Like we got a solid team behind us. How long did it take you guys to put that team together? We still put this we team still together. Okay. We fire yeah. motherfuckers like day, huh? <laughs> well, seriously, because the goal isn't to just build a team, the goal is always to build a strong team. You know what I mean? And to be honest, to be around us, you have to have a team. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we're not just gonna sit back and say something is great just because we did it. It's like, no, we want our shit to be on point. Right. You know, so, you know, the whole ego of, hey, this script, yep, I wrote it and it's great. Nah, it's, but what about this part? What about that part? You know, so it take, it's a give take situation where you got to be open to the criticism, you got to be open to the suggestions, and oftentimes those are the things that make the project even better. You know what I mean? Um, so, chain is only as strong as the weakest link. Yeah, so That's shit. True. You see, like, you see somebody lagging behind or something, ain't on point. Speak on that shit. It's on you now. On me. Y'all do open castings? Yeah. yeah. What's the worst mistake you've ever made in a relationship, and what did you do to fix it? It's on him first. All right, okay. <laughs> it's on you. <laughs> What's considered what a relationship? relationship? Worst mistake I made was having a baby mom. It is. Hey, that is the worst mistake of my. the worst mistake of my life. I tell anybody. Hey, I I got a horrible situation, man. I can't say that nigga wrong. That's his answer. Um, worst mistake. Shit, I honestly, I might have to agree with that. You had a baby mama too? No, I ain't got Damn. <laughs> Oh shit, it's all coming out on the show. We, we say the Power we, You podcast. We, we got is, exclusive. We got a lot of power. Listen, <laughs> tell, think, tell us about your look, baby mama. I gotta mama. think about this shit before I say it. What's her name? I see. She a bad bitch? <laughs> Look at his face. He wanted to know too. He like, I ain't never seen her. He like, yeah, I wanna know. I'm trying to see what she look like. I, I'm okay, you she we won. You we all. won. The worst mistake was definitely getting a baby daddy or whatever the case may be. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. Ain't worried about your baby daddy. Tell us about this bad I ain't got no baby mama. Oh, I ain't got been with a bitch. That ain't even what I meant to. Nah, nah, nah. Well, 
What about you? Uh, read the question one more time. <laughs> She gotta, she, she's sitting next to her be like, I gotta make sure <laughs> right. I answer this right. 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 <laughs> she's about to fuck this up. Hi. What's the worst mistake you ever made in a relationship, and what did you do to fix it? Well, the worst mistake I made in a relationship is cheating. And what did I do to fix it? No, the worst mistake you made was getting caught, nigga. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I never get caught. Alright, no, you gotta elaborate. Okay, on we gotta talk about this one now. Nah, speak on this. I'm, I'm explaining. I didn't get caught, but I feel so bad about doing what I was doing. I had to, I had to, no, no, I had to tell the truth. I had to let it go, and I had to grow up as a man and be like, be more responsible. Oh, okay, about so you one of those, you one of those brothers with a conscience. A it wasn't even about a conscience. It, I, I had so a son. You, I got a son that looks up to me, and he seen me doing all this to a woman. He go think it's cool to do it too, and I'm like, I don't want you to. So, so I don't want your son see you do it. It right. wasn't nobody seeing me do it. It was just I wouldn't want it to come out. You know what so I'm saying? Your conscience was getting. The it, best yeah, my conscience was. Yeah. You just said you it wasn't no conscience. You got to make it mind up now. No, it was his conscience getting the best. Kind of. But it was going on so long, and I was okay, like, okay, so tell me how this conversation went. You, you, right. so, you went to her and said, "Baby, we need to talk. I, I got something I want to tell." I know you, you didn't catch me. Right. But first, first, I didn't go to her and talk like that because I knew the situation. I was like, I gotta leave first. I left first. You left her? Yeah, I left her. And then I told her well, why I So left. at that point, it didn't matter. It did matter. Because she wouldn't know, why, nigga, why you leave me? We good. Yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't no. You, you just, like, it's weighing heavy on my heart. <laughs> no, I ain't say it's weighing heavy on. I was like, I'm not going to stop cheating if I'm with you. Because it's like certain situations and certain things that happen to the point where you know how somebody do something to you and you never can get over it. So she cheated on you too? No. But it's something else she did, but I'm not gonna discard it. Is this the, is this the right. open podcast right, 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 or not? Right, right, right. We talk okay. about it. I'm honest. But if you y'all say y'all gonna keep it 100, I'm like, uh, true. It's, yeah. So she was just better at cheating than you. She never cheated. So, see, that's the difference. She didn't tell on her fucking self. Yeah, it's true. You don't know. I don't know, but what she did do, it was something that was like unforgivable to me. To me. And I was like, I never get over it. But it was like so old. But it was like it kept coming back in my head. Like, ah, oh, well, she do that shit again. You cried during Lion King. Huh? You cried during Lion King. That nigga did. No. I see it in your I, eyes. Well, look, look. When he held that back. Like, yeah. I cried. I, I, I cried on Titanic, though. I'm not about to see it. It's okay. Hey, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna listen, lie, listen, though. Listen, Hold on. When you saw Jack go floating down in the water, you was like, damn. I thought Jack was the biggest idiot there is. That's why I cried. Because I was like, you life stupid is bitch. I was like, this ain't even your Kill woman. You just met her on this ship. <laughs> First rule of life is self-preservation. Yeah, I don't love nobody more. Now you gotta answer. Who asked that question? I asked it, so you gotta answer it. <laughs> What's the worst mistake I ever made? He said he didn't get her deported. That was a real. Yeah, I, I ain't get her deported. I should have never. I wasn't a joke. She's not from here. Yeah, I should have got her. Oh, you shipped somebody over here? I got her fresh off the boat. <laughs> like, is this real life or is you just playing? <laughs> no, real shit. Oh, you know, real shit. Baby right? Yeah, real shit. Yeah. What is she? Um, I'm trying to Okay. Yeah. So is it the child's mom who you love the most, or is it the child's mom who you love the least? Or is it your child's it's mom? It's my first child. Oh, my oh, first child. Okay. You didn't answer that one. He ain't gonna answer that. He did the least. <laughs> he did like this. He said it. I'm hey, no, look, I, I, I love. He loves his love kids. I love all my children. Do. Now like I don't like them all the time. I got you. No, I understand. There's levels to this shit. I, I, Mm. I want to know so you want to do interviews you got, the, you got your backdrop thing and everything too that ain't how we do it that ain't how we do it that ain't how we do it hold up hold up bro tell me how you do it I'm gonna tell you this we get we, we walk around we, we talk to people we, we interact with people we have fun with it and make people feel special like paparazzi we paparazzi for the people like Say you one of the actors. Okay. Okay. We on your ass. We like, hey, talk to you wherever you walk into with your group of people. Let you shine. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. We don't want you to come stand here and be like, uh, just be bored with it. You know? I want you to be in your moment. You interactive. I'm yeah. interactive, yes. So you like a virtual reality. I don't know. Look, that's he a big nigga. You may run up and intimidate somebody. I'm not the one. She talking. I'm the cameraman. Look, they think they're going to get robbed yeah. and shit. Like, like, like can, can I sit down and talk to you? No. No. Excuse me, like, hey, but hey, my man, <laughs> don't ask you a couple questions, nigga. We need you to come over here and do my. Mess you about this film. We, we do do like 
like y'all say, like standing with the backdrop, but we'll use the backdrop that's there. Okay. And, okay. So I do have a, yeah. Right here. Yeah, right. but so we, so when it's time to move around, we just be, let's go. Bring these gold microphones. No, we got wireless. No, y'all like the gold. Y'all like to go. gonna make me set up something special for everybody. I know, right? like, well, fuck everybody. Fuck everybody else. else. Just oh, it's just yeah. for y'all. Listen, y'all, y'all ain't tell the deal though. They did uh, say yeah. Hold on, hold on. No, we discussing this gold microphone shit. Oh, that's only it. Tell us something special. Contingency for so, this shit. So uh, I got some. What? Yeah, we I got some bikes. I got some. Mic. I got some mic. I got some mic. I think I got some five thousand dollar mics over there that I can make look sweet. But if they go, go. They won't go. They go. They go. Oh, they go. They go. Go. Fuck it. But it's close. They know You know the gold ones is like usually studio. These not outside studio mics. But I know the look you want. I don't know shit about none of that shit. I don't know the difference we don't do between what a gold microphone do. And this you just microphone. like we it. We just like the look. Yeah. The shit's sweet. We gonna use the listening. I got an idea. You got an idea? I got a dog ass idea. That's what I want to hear. I got a dog ass idea. Just for y'all. All right. This is just for y'all too. Nah, right. Look, nah, if I come to somebody else's shit and you got the microphone, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, get down everything. I'm these niggas school. for the streets. <laughs> Fuck you. Just remember, whatever we do, y'all is the first ones to do it. Like Ray J. We hit it we first. Hit it first. Yep. Yeah. So you got to tell me if y'all want it inside or outside the door. Whoa. The building. Outside the building or inside the building? <laughs> Yeah, because that's what's like wild as shit. No, inside. We, we don't be no homo. How about that? No homo. <laughs> we, we got a saying in, in my office is only weird. If you make it weird. But if you don't make it weird, no, we don't make it weird. It no, we didn't. He you made turned it. around and looked at it. You're like, okay. I thought that was just for me. No, I saw you. Yeah, that. No, no. He, it's for everybody? I that, saw you. That's how we got them twins. <laughs> Why they Irish? They Keyshawn, white? Keyshawn. Well, look, we got German twins in this big. Right. Yeah. We got Keyshawn and Keyshawn. Dog. It's all right. It's all right. It's no, cool. Man, it's cool. Like two kids with the same name. Like, like, like George Foreman. Like, 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 like Lindsay Hunter. Literally. Why would you do that? So how do y'all feel that y'all execute y'all uh, hustle to the extent where it's like perfect? Perfect, but your best would be your ability. But it, it go back to what we just said about being brutally honest. Mm-hmm. Like we'll, like after we finish your project, we don't just say, "Oh yeah, we did it. We out cold. We did. We the best in the city." Right. Watched this yeah. movie a million times. So yep. the mistakes we made on Asbury Park, which were the first, which was the first film. Mm-hmm. The next film, you can't make those same mistakes again. You're not grown. You're not elevated. So after Black Lives, mistakes that we looked at. In Black Lives, we made sure we didn't make those mistakes with absence and innocence. And how about this? And how about we just not be arrogant about what it's on our brand? Right. But it's a, like, like no blueprint to this shit, so it's not necessarily like. But every single step along the way, there are instructions one through fifty that is supposed to make this perfect. You're not putting together a bookcase and it's like, okay, it comes with the Allen wrench and twelve screws. It's no blueprint, so. Sometimes you might know somebody who do X, Y, and Z, and you call them and they might give you a little game. You got some motherfuckers like, shit, I ain't gonna tell y'all nothing. You, you, you know, you gonna learn on the job. Make your mistakes as you go. So, it's necessarily we gonna say, hey, we got the greatest movie to ever come out of Michigan, the greatest independent film? No. Because everything is subjective to how you feel. There's a lot of people who name movies, yeah, yeah. like, that shit suck. <laughs> then somebody else, like, oh, that shit was great. The same yeah, thing you do with music. The fuck but the I thing is, always make sure that we put out a style of project. Like, we're not going to lie to ourselves. Like, if we watch the movie and we see the audio is fucked up, we're not going to sit here and look like, oh, we don't I didn't, we, we didn't I didn't just hear that crackling in the boom. Like, Y'all hey, Nick, you heard that? At 14 minutes and 36 seconds, yeah, we got to get this shit fixed. Right, you sit back and you like, look at like, things have to make sense. See the nigga in the background, the boom fall. We don't see that. Right, you know I was just about to ask so y'all about you, that. You looking, you looking at, <laughs> Yo, you see me and him in the reflection of the car, you know, saying in the car window. We're not supposed to be in there. No. So you gotta have things that make sense. Like the storyline has to make sense. I've never seen a nigga get shot and he don't bleed. Right. Oh, I, I see that in the movie all the time. Right. That ain't you go to, you go to a restaurant and everybody at the restaurant, there's no dishes, no nah, nothing. It's like, or, you, or you do the Tyler Perry have a motherfucker digging up a spoon, but ain't no food nope. on that shit. So there are certain things that we gonna sit and talk about like, internally, hey. like, hey, okay, so hey, we film at such we, and such. Hey, we all set. Yo, okay. You feed the motherfuckers? No, but for us. Y'all know what bothers me is seeing fucking food on the TV and they don't eat that shit. Like, you don't even take one fucking bite. Like, chew it. That shit looks too good. 
We had a restaurant scene. Your phone going off. You turn your shit off, please. Just let you know. This is so professional. So bold. I don't even Damn. You do that to all your guests? Listen, I don't. just fuck up. Your cousin was just FaceTiming you. I was going to let it go by. I gave you two strikes for damn. You were just getting FaceTime. I wasn't going to say nothing. That's why I did this. Yeah, I cut mine off. That's so your wife don't give a fuck about us. Today is just one of them days. But we can come to your shit, right? Hold up, hold up. We already had to wait when we got here. It was late. Late to tell. So damn, fuck us, then fuck us, huh? Damn, your ass. Damn, my. You know. You that you're going to come to the premiere and be late. We're going to be the fuck on time. Wait, is your phone going to be ringing? No. So listen, you did. You had a great performance. Hold on. Honestly, in a while. Wow. So it's the phone's fault. It was the phone. Uh, what's, the, what's the alarm for? I don't know. I don't know. So you just got a random alarm no, on your phone. It, it says something about my daughter, but I don't know why it went your off. Your daughter not even here. Oh, exactly. It was a, I don't know why it went off. Yeah, I don't even alarm. know why it went off. Sunday. Exactly. That's I don't know why it's on. Wow. He talked about Sunday school. I don't wow. know why it was on. All right, whatever. I ain't about to do this. Listen, 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 you know what I'm saying? So how many interviews have you guys been on? A lot, a lot. A lot. We kind of do this regularly. So, quick question: Have y'all ever been on an interview and somebody like like this same situation? Somebody got a call and it was like, "Oh my God, I'm on the phone with so and so, blah blah blah." You just walked out or something? Nah. But if they do, it's gonna be cool. I'm gonna be like, "All right, so check it out." <laughs> yeah, like we're now hosting <laughs> the us's. Yeah, we're taking over. The us's. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck about y'all. That. Y'all host the podcast? Yeah. We do it on a daily fucking basis. Technically, yeah. no, we don't act. Oh, y'all just realists. We jump in a little cameo or something. We jump in some shit, but no. Nah, yeah. We seen your cameo. What y'all see him in? Which was it? Don't tell me, because we seen both of them. We seen Black Lives and we seen Consequences too. But you were in Black. So, so y'all ain't see me in, in Black Lives. Huh? There. Yeah, fuck me, huh? Wait, let me go back because yeah. we watched the movie literally back to back because we had we we had Eric up here and we, you, you we wanted to make sure we seen it. Uh uh-uh, uh, don't do that. I'm just trying to think though. What did you do? Don't tell me, but I'm trying to remember. I only seen it once. Okay, tell me what happened. Okay, so the guy took the gun out and he was robbing the little store. That was him. That was you. That was him in the liquor store. We robbed the guy. That's what we gotta watch the movie like three, four times and shit. Well, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't even no good. Right, Brandon, like, which movie was that? And, and he Black Lives. He looked at you like, yeah, that was him. He no, just... he don't remember shit. But I'm like, in my mind, like, was that Black Lives or Consequences? Because I don't remember that shit Ain't happening. Nobody, neither nobody, one. Either in, in either movie, the first one was a bad movie. Ain't nobody Mama robbed drama. nobody. Either. Hey, look, but she going Listen. along with it, like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I don't remember seeing you in that. I said I remember seeing him in that. The movie that I remember is the movie that y'all said y'all were in. Y'all were in that movie. Y'all were in that movie. I, I thought he just was messing with hoes. No, that was two movies. No, That's two different yeah. movies. Still messing with hoes. Hey, he's like, still messing yeah. with hoes. He's like, this. I thought it was the same movie. Hold on. Right, like, no. He just see what I said. He don't remember. I want to see Look, I dozed off when I woke up. He'll fuck with some more bitches. Damn. Last nigga here. I fall asleep. I watched it. I watched it. He be, he don't remember nothing. That's fucking terrible. It. You smoke a lot? No. and that, No, his memory terrible. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let him answer that oh, question. Man, you smoke, you a smoke a lot? Yeah, I smoke with her. Okay. I don't smoke. You high now? What you talking about? I'm really not high. high. I'm not. This eyes. is this is no sleep from you fucking Friday. Dialogue. Yeah, we've been to a lot of events. You ever this had Dahlia? No, I haven't. No? She fucked No. You probably had some Dahlia. I don't even know what What's Dahlia? Is. That's that good shit. That's good shit. What is it? Come with a little forest. I don't know what it is. See? Like, oh, it's wow. crack. Here, just try it. It comes with some shit. Like, oh, what? no. It's stronger than crack. We it is. How y'all know? Dahlia. You have crack? No, I ain't never tried you a bitch. I know some crackheads. Crack we know some crackheads. Yeah, we know, of, we know too. We know a lot of crackheads. Crack crack don't say I know crackheads. You do know crackheads. Everybody I know. Crack know. I mean, we ain't like cool crackhead uncle. You know what I'm saying? You be cool with a crackhead? Yeah. I'm not gonna say I got a cool ass crackhead uncle. Just just like that. No, and they be knowing how to fix shit too. Sometimes. And be telling me like it's my rich nephew right here. I love this nigga. I'm like I still ain't got no money for you. Hey, look, look, my crackhead uncle stole my auntie lawnmower. <laughs> and then so look, and then she was like, and it was an old school line work. And she was like, Well dang, where's the cord for it? She's like, I sell it to you. <laughs> he gonna sell her her shit back to her. So we gonna call this part of the show Cranky Moments. Yeah. <laughs> why we gonna why are we gonna call it that? They do be stealing some shit. Hey look, they do hella home improvement stuff. So they do, they do. Let's oh, see. Who got two cards? Me. It's on him. Oh, okay. Nah, this is bad. 
your significant other develops a serious illness and can no longer perform certain conjugal duties. He or she gives you a free pass to get sex elsewhere. Whoa. Would you use it? Why or why not? Well, from the moment she couldn't do that shit, I was fucking somebody else anyway. <laughs> Dog. You got needs. What? Like, let's be real. <laughs> you sit here and you tell me, unfortunately, your woman got in the house fire. And it just didn't burnt her up good. So I'm supposed to do what now? Like, look, I like getting head. So you talk about, oh, she can't use her mouth no more. She got so, no cancer. Somebody. So is work. he saying both of the body parts are gone? <laughs> no, I fuck that. I like what I like. Right. So if you talk about she got no <laughs> cancer, then somebody else going to be sucking dick. <laughs> there go his look, look, and, and guess what? I'm and guess what? And, and, and she knew that the moment she got diagnosed with throat cancer, she was like this. You can't put no dick in no throat You know what, baby? Somebody else gonna take it right now. Somewhere else. So, I really, really love you. So, so she gave, so she gave me really, a pass really love you. just because she already knew what was about to happen. Right. I ain't gonna lie. It was she, inevitable. She just gave it to you because she already Yeah, knew look, she did it. it anyway. She did it to keep the peace. Like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm probably gonna cuss out. So, for do that. y'all think that's why women give passes out? Because they already know you're gonna do it. I only say women gonna give out a pass. Uh, Talking about this car. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm like elaborate. I want to know how certain women give out passes. There's a lot of them that do. I mean, it's a lot of pressure on men. You gotta understand the ratio of men to women is like ten to two. You take away, like, think about it. On average, you hear about somebody getting killed. It was a nigga. Mm-hmm. Somebody going to jail for uh, ten plus years doing life. All the niggas that get killed. All the niggas that's doing life in prison. Mm-hmm. The homosexual community that does not like women. Okay. Okay. And then all the homeless guys who live in their mama basement and ain't got no money. It's only a few of us good niggas left. It's hard on us. Hold on, hold on. Then you talk about them just bum ass, begging ass. That's the home, that's the homeless niggas that's on the cousin's couch in the back. Hey, room. but you know it'd be crazy to me. How, 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 hold up. It'd be females and you look like every time you well, turn see, around, you got a new nigga living with you. You'd be like, where the fuck you find your niggas at? <laughs> hey, now, real, now, I tell y'all a funny story. People like I, that. I got a home girl. She work at Chrysler. I ain't gonna call her name out, but. <laughs> Every time I ride past a homeless guy, I take a picture of her, mm. of the homeless guy, and I send it to her. I'm like, hey, I got a new one for you. Because every guy she meets, he moving. And I tell her all the time, I say, what or is nigga, it? Or nigga, I'm like, I don't know if you find these niggas like, at. That's nasty. I'm like, I don't know if you be finding these niggas at the, uh, what do they, what they give out? They the plasma? The plasma yeah. banks. Are, I'm like, I don't know where you find these guys at, but these niggas <laughs> like, never had no house. Every time you turn around, you be like, damn, you got a new motherfucker. Yeah, I be feeling bad for her. I'm like, homie, you got to find a nigga Everybody that, live with that you. got somewhere to stay. Like, and, and so she running a homeless shelter. She really is. Man. I can, we call them her sons. Ooh. Would y'all ever do reality TV? For the right by the money. The price right. The price right. Looking too weird on there, then yeah. <laughs> so you will let them like follow your, oh, yeah, you, know, you and your life, your family. Yeah. Oh, hell no. You ain't following my life. That's you the follow. only way they go do it. You follow me. <laughs> private. He's like, I don't nigga. care. You follow me. You can follow that nigga. Your wife would be open to it? For the right amount of money. She'd be like, all right. But certain shit, like, all right. Nah. I'm, it ain't I'm even that. Right. It's like, so the thing about it is. No, I'm basically I'm asking, like, is she a private person it's or scripted. is she like more open? We gonna call it life cases. No, it's scripted. Okay. They gonna make up stuff. Yeah, yeah. they do. They give you drama and Man, shit. listen, listen. I don't need that type of shit. Cause it's gonna I, turn into real I reality drama. It's okay. I deal with that shit. I don't need that shit in my personal life. Like I said, they tell me like, man, we gonna do the show for $50,000. I'm like, yeah, I'm straight. They tell me like, man, we got like $800,000 to the show. Like, yeah, for two weeks. All right, sign me yeah, up. Bad. It's sign on. me up. I'm with it I'm too. I'm with it. Nah, I ain't You say you want me to say what to her? Call her ball till I hit her mama. She ball hit her. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Spit in who, babe? <laughs> no, that's a little too much. Who's a bitch? That's nasty. Not for 800. That's nasty. You are, okay, I know y'all seen. Have y'all seen that video of the preacher who was a spit all over his brother's face and was like basically his? It was his in an analogy. Did he? Did he? Did he heal him? No. So he you don't know that. No, I'm saying he did that because but basically. Did he heal him? I don't know. I don't See? even know the people personally. Did but you ain't even let me finish. Who complained? I know what you're talking about. The situation was no, like I'm saying, But would it have been okay? Like, you okay with who that? Who complained? For, for, for 800,000. Did the guy that got that? spit on complain or did everybody else complain? Everybody else. Everybody as no, he I'm was actually, doing it, you never seen the guy. He no, didn't get upset. Dude, he was sitting there like, yeah, this yeah. Lord. No, I'm saying, but would you be okay? You would let that happen to you for that that, that 800K? You would do that? I box, so yeah. 800,000. You'll be all right with it? You ever been in the boxing gym? They spit on you all the time. Not, you know how nasty that shit is? No, all of it is. We sit here boxing sometimes. I'm like, blow my nose. If I hit you with that glove, you got a little hey, spit on hey, you. Hey, look, you'll, okay. you'll be amazed at what people tolerate for the right amount of money. You for sure. You'll let a nigga shit on your chest? 
for the right amount of money? First of all, I ain't doing shit with no nigga for no I'm money. just saying. You said But you, you talking, talking about some? You said for yourself. I'm not that like, nigga. Like, <laughs> you said somebody putting a little spit on you is gross. I'm telling you, I box five days a week. You don't so, like a little bit so of he spit. gets spit on for free is what he's saying. <laughs> you, don't like, you don't like a little bit of spit. All right, so yo. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't answer it. No, you ain't answered. Uh, she got five <laughs> kids. She like a lot of bit of spit, okay? It's okay. It's okay. Look, we know you got German twins. It's, it's okay. okay. He going to get that German, though. He's trying to keep shine, though. That is not their name. It clearly is. Yes, Y'all got a crew like Eshan, Keyshawn, Lil Mama, and her friends. No, we Risha, don't. Risha, Risha, <laughs> Listen, Rhea, and Kim. Kim. We blended that shit. We blended what that mean? Oh, you know, we they, 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 they don't got names like that, though. They blenderized. I don't care. I would. You got a whole tattoo on I your would. hand. They got names. That's it. That's my son. Did she, See? Hold on, did she answer the question? I would, you know I thought I would. That's your surname? Yeah. <laughs> he so, wasn't even born when you got that. Wait, 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 real quick. <laughs> so, hold on, hold on, if, hold on, if no, he wasn't working anymore, no, no, hold on. what happens? No, hold on, let's back it up, back it up. So the son wasn't even born when you got that tattoo. He was cooking up. He so, knew so that was what his name was going to be. Whose name is that? It's a King Cooper. Oh. First of all, <laughs> whose name is that? Hey, bro, what's your name? Cooper. You the king? I am. It's all over the walls. It's all over her hand. It's all over my arm. So King is not our son? It's his name. Now. Now. So. How old is the son? One. How old the tattoo? When I was, I was pregnant when I got the tattoo. You stutter a lot, I know. Oh, I knew if it was a boy, he was going to be King. So either way, I got the tattoo for Coop, yes. But it's also King's name, which is my son too, so. You know what? I know a chick that did the same thing. And then she ended up being with the nigga. That's crazy. So, so now, we my son name though. So now she's like, so the, that's the tattoo that say J, my son name J too. And it's like, yeah, the nigga name is J. It's still, it's it just, it just that, fell in the that, line. That's, that's still that, my that, name. That's that, 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 so, it's still, it's okay, still Okay, we with you. So the question is, if Coop wasn't able to work anymore. Yeah. What happens now? Do you, and he tell you, you know what? Look, I know I can't do my due diligence anymore. Go ahead, do your thing. What do you do? Would you take that back? Oh, I thought. Okay. I um, thought she told. I thought he was talking about different questions too. Okay, so Coop Dick don't work no more. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. He can't have sex with you. There's no penetration that's going on. He tells you you can get a pass elsewhere. What do you do? I mean, like. I don't know what I mean. I don't mean. We, we need an answer. <laughs> we need an answer. We can't. Yo, you ask us. We gonna be nervous. This is your show. You can't even hold the shit together. You know what? Y'all apart. not gonna do that. I, All right, we gonna keep it one hundred. If he cool with it, and he say yeah. I don't know though, cause a part of me would still be feeling some way. Like why, you know, like we married. We but... know what part of you ain't gonna be feeling no type of way if that nigga dick don't work. So what you saying is what you might do is you probably gonna just be playing with the little toys and stuff. You gonna get you a rose. I'm just gonna get you. Yeah. And then I'm gonna just rose his... three hundred. I'm gonna just have to sit on his face. You know, we have Remember to find other ways. Work. We have to find other ways. Oh, that don't work neither. He no. said dick. He didn't say your mouth. I'll say, so. I, I was in a total accident. So nothing on you. So, so that nigga tongue don't work either. I'm melting. Well, I guess, yeah, I would just have to take that pass. Oh, so you're going to cheat on my man? Cool. No, he gave me the okay, so it's not cheating. Yes, it is. Where's your moral conscience? <laughs> None. That's still cheating. Gl- you hey, told me to I, do look, it. I'm glad one person in that relationship got a conscience. Just because I tell you to do something, that uh, means you're going to do it. Hey, look, at least Cooper tell him. At least Cooper tell him. If he told you to jump off the bridge, would you go jump? Why hell no? I ain't going to do that. Coop told you to jump off the bridge, jump. Stop. Okay, so what would you do? If nothing worked, don't, man. They be 100. I'm going to go get a pussy pocket. He lying. See, I, that's a good, respectful answer, He brother. lying. When I said hey. toys and shit, hey. and hey, you cool. that, cool. that, 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 cool. I'm glad you ain't nothing like your trifling wife. <laughs> <laughs> you a good man. You better hold on to that brother right there. <laughs> hey, you see the look we got you? Hey, bro. Y'all ain't <laughs> shit. Y'all is not shit. Y'all is not shit. Y'all is not shit. Y'all is not shit. What would you do? I just said he what just I told do. you. He got a pocket. No, that's not. Right. He lying. Yeah, he's we lying. accept his answer. He's lying. Look, hey, that nigga told on himself. Hey, 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 hey. first off, so, so shit. We are judging that jury nigga. here. Hey, fuck it. I believe him. Coop, you've been found innocent by a jury of your peers. You know, you're free to go. We're gonna dismiss all charges. It's gonna be out now. I'm gonna be out you? number anyway because y'all all. You? It's cool. Life. Y'all on the same team. Y'all on the same yeah, team. Yeah, I remember. Life. He told on himself. Any nigga that tell on himself, shit, you can trust. Would y'all do a movie about y'all life? Yeah. Yeah, well, and y'all will play in it, or y'all will have somebody play it. No, I'm gonna have somebody else play the shit out. Who would you, who will play you? What actors do you see? Hey, you I, like? I, you know when you said that, who came to my man? Who? Who? I'm gonna let him see me say. Okay. Who? Don't fuck this up. 
<laughs> hey, look, the nigga that's gonna play me is the nigga with a six pack. So hold on. <laughs> I don't know whoever whoever hot right there. Who you was gonna say? The dude hot. Who? I want to. I want to. I want to I wanna see who he gonna say first. Because if you say the same person, I'm saying damn, he ain't got nobody in mind. He so ain't got nobody in mind. He's saying he whoever. He has somebody too. I'm waiting on you. I seen his eyes light like, up. I seen his eyes light like, up. Hey, 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 Dennis probably probably gonna get him fucked up. <laughs> we gonna fight. Fuck me. I know us. We fight it. all the time. Say it. Who? Who is it? Who? Say it. His name started with B. No, I was gonna say CeeLo. Oh, CeeLo. Oh. CeeLo, right. You know what? I, I told you so. Yeah, I was thinking about Bizarre. I was thinking about Bizarre. Hey, that's even worse. Bizarre. No, see, y'all, gotta, no, see, y'all gotta understand. I just got that. So, that's oh, different. Because you're saying bizarre, I'm always doing. Yeah, bizarre. Is okay, okay. okay, so you, we gotta go to Skinny You? Yeah. Okay, that's what you Yeah, that's when all the good okay. shit happened. Okay, all right, all right. He I got, don't know. He, he probably can play you with Shave his hair off. I don't know. Nah. Well, you know, I'm gonna think on that one, though. What about you? Who will play you? Where you play yourself? Where you play yourself? Where you play yourself? Where you that up on purpose. Like my daddy ain't shit. Amazon. Don't do that. <laughs> what? She said, This is thing said Amazon. Saks Fifth Avenue. Saks Fifth. Amazon. Okay. Yeah. Shout out my guy Marcus Ask You. I order mine regularly. Every I order some every, every week. Type shit. Uh, every, every, by, by, where you get your much. where you get your glasses from? I don't got no glasses. You got the first thing he said. Hey, he got a chain on it came from Hutch. No, it didn't. <laughs> People. That's you. <laughs> you said it. You did kind of say that. I too. did say it. Where'd that come from, though? Because, like, it's most a, you know how many people, people do just, No, no, listen, no. I was just going to say These niggas was lying, first off. Okay. They in them comments. It's 600,000 comments. Hutch ain't had 600,000 customers. I was just wondering. Everybody named Mama. Oh, bro, I was just with Hutch. No, you wasn't. You know how it was. I had just talked to Brody. But you know, that's what I'm mean. That's when, you know that when niggas start lying. lying. You start seeing niggas in exactly. pictures, niggas showing pictures of dog tags. You know when dog tags was out? Man. Much love to Hutch, bro. I got this dog. T- nigga. Four, five, Niggas got goddamn Jacob and Company watch. I got this Jacob watch right here. Like, bro, that's not even in. You got that from Hutch fucking that Northland or some shit. Like, stop. You know that's how it be every time. Yeah, niggas be lying. They do. They Everybody do. their mama had a opinion. Oh, bro. Country that told me before if he ever died, man, to make sure I did his eulogy. <laughs> I, I just shit. got a question hey, for the like, man. You, you ever met that nigga? Hell no. I got a question for y'all. So, because me and my friends were talking about it kind of circle last night. So, typically, are men, like, cool, you know, loving, blah, 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 until they get a first heartbreak, and then, at that point, y'all turn savage type shit? Because you don't jump out the wound. Because I'm going to speak from my boys... They're, they're loving. They they are affectionate. They love me. Their mom is, you know. They, See, they, but that, that's a, is that, it? That, hold on, that's most a, boys that I know. That's a tricky question because, first of all, like, I was a host since I could remember. Oh, so from one, day one, you yeah, was like, just like, treating women like, 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 like no, you were savage. No, no, all that shit that you were saying like about Jay-Z. being loving. Like I told no, you from day I, one. I felt like I had a lot of shit. love to give. And so oh. I was giving a lot of love to, to a lot of different people. people. So it ain't nothing happened like no, you know, to cause you to be like, yeah, you know what? At this point, I realized he told you from day one that he wasn't shit. I I was loving. When it comes to relationships, no, 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 no. no, But hold on, let's think about it. Oh, okay. No, but on some real shit, if a man is single and he decides to share love among different, no, you single, you can do what you want. Yeah, that that ain't the savage. No, no, that's not. I'm saying in a way that you would treat a woman, or I never, I ain't never mistreated a woman. Never, never. Okay, so yo. Past relationships, they'd be like, oh, yeah, he was cool. We only broke up because, you know, we grew up, outgrew each other well, type shit. Yeah, understand something, too. When you say mistreatment, mm-hmm. mistreatment is going to be based I mean, on your both, perspective. Yeah. Because if you say, hey, you drive a Maserati, I want a Maserati. And I'm like, I mean, we kind of just fuck around. So, <laughs> I mean, if you want me to help you get like a focus or something. That nigga ain't shit. Like, oh, my yeah, God. That nigga ain't shit. Good. Like, so no, all, no, 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 no. No, I got you. I got you. based on perspective that's facts like somebody will say like okay great example it's gonna be somebody in the acting world who's gonna tell somebody i'm a real whole ass nigga because i fired them but they not gonna tell you why that they was fucking up late that they didn't do this right that they didn't oh my god he just a real whole nigga he care about this he care about that so it's like but well, what did you do right that's true what part did you play in this and then keep in mind a lot of a lot of women be confused about what relationships is just because we fucking on a regular basis don't, don't mean we in a relationship. Do y'all say that though? Or do y'all just let them I've always been whatever. real transparent. Like, okay. For me personally, like I said, I'm this asshole I am on. I'm always this guy. This is not just like a hack. 
this is just me. So and I can vouch for he's consistent man. Though. I am. I am. I'm like but you got a lot of people who they want things to be a certain way. I, I'm looking for love. I want you to play this part in my life. So even though you say we're not together, we together because we, you spend a night with me all the time. Right. We together because I be at your house and I be cooking for you. Right. We together because of this. And it's like, no, it's just right. fun. Just, and you just cause got you a lot of extra benefits. Don't mean in a relationship. So all of this is, is really based on what your perception of it is. And see, and then you got the ones that lie to themselves. They be like this, okay, well, we fuck around all the time, and I don't want to look dumb, so I'm going to tell my family that you're my boyfriend. All right, bitch, if that's what you want to do, that shit. It's going to make you sure. sleep better you at night, sure. But, you know, it, it is what it is. And if I'm constantly telling you, hey, you know what? I'm doing what I do. It ain't my fault you fell in love with me. True. Man, women, the- women, women use pussy as a down payment for relationships. What if she don't give you none though? And, like, what? Like I'm saying, like if y'all not in a relationship and she decided not on, to on. give you none, and two, you, you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I ain't even trying to be funny. Nah, Were y'all at the Detroit Filmmakers Awards? Nah, nah. I always been this nigga though, so I never had a problem. Like, don't try to get away from that question. No, like, I always like, been like hold up, like for real, do people even claim people that they not fucking? No, you got some something. No, because we. No, Eric was a sucker at one point. Some do, Eric was a sucker at one point. Don't do that. Don't do that. One thing about me, I'm trans. I was all the name. I'm transparent. You called the whole name, though. What I tell you, I bought every day. I'm a stand on this. Don't do that. The people that way, say you wait all this time, then it's trash. And you don't waste your No, see, no, no. I got some sense. I'm going to make it trash. car before you buy them. No, let me make a statement. Come on. And we're not talking about dirty pussy. There's no such thing as bad pussy. Nah, this is a No, no. <laughs> hold on. Hear me. Hear me. No, no, I'm not talking about dirty. You no, got to understand. Dirty. Dirty. No, no, no. Hear what I'm saying. You got whack pussy? Whack so, pussy but, ain't bad pussy? But when you say, when you say it was whack. What makes it, it was, bad? It was you. No. No. Let no. me tell you what. Hear me. Just hear me. It was her. No. Just hear me. <laughs> Listen. A lot of me. niggas get just because pussy. This nigga done paid my rent eight months in a row. He door dashed me something to eat every day for lunch. He done paid for my kids' birthday parties, bought Christmas. I might as well fuck him. She's not going to give that nigga the same pussy and energy that she give a nigga that she really, really feeling. Okay. That so, that's fine. you got a nigga who would be like, bro, I, I'd, have, I'd have been in a situation with a nigga like, bro, you hit such and such? I'm like, yeah. He's like, that shit was horrible. I'm like, boy, what? <laughs> you crazy, man. She don't suck dick. Who don't suck dick? I'm like, nigga, she suck dick. She swallows. She got the two hand on. Because, again... Yeah. When a woman is not into you, like a lot of niggas don't understand that. They be like, man, I got to beg this bitch for some pussy. Like, if she into you, you going to know she into you. Right. So it's not so much that the pussy whack. She just ain't feeling you that way. Well, but hold on. But here's the reality. At the end of the day, do you really give a fuck? At the time you want to fuck, you fuck. Like, so whether it was good pussy or bad pussy, you still like, okay, I was in that shit. I had the trip. I ain't got to go I had the trip. <laughs> but again, that's just my thing. It ain't so much that it was bad. She but that ain't the type of pussy like I was talking about. That's not. Right, I'm right. explaining hey, to hey, you. Cool. Tell us about bad pussy. I'm gonna tell you what some bad pussy is. You pull them pants down, and you see her lips down her leg a little bit. God damn! Where was you? You at? put your dick in there, and you ain't touching no walls. That's some bad pussy. God damn! God damn nigga. Is that bad pussy or not? Nigga, that's I all. That's all like bad pussy. Said, I ain't had that. <laughs> see, you ain't had no bad pussy. Hey, look, <laughs> Come on, I'm man. just saying. Hey, cool. Tell me where you used to hang out at so I can stay the fuck out. Yeah. I'm always. I'm right, not I'm going to I, disclose that, I but with higher quality hey, hoes too. It's some bad pussy out here. Hey, look, that's why. That's why I'm gonna tell you this too. Higher quality that's, Look, that's why that nigga cheated and told on himself. That nigga ran up on some bad pussy. It was like, <laughs> so you know so what? Bad, I gotta tell y'all, I want to go back there. Okay, <laughs> I, gotta I went back. over there. I wasn't but, supposed to be there. It said, but, I'm scarred. Believe, oh, believe it or not, that high quality is a high quality bitch with some bad pussy. There's a few of them. It is. It is. But we're gonna leave them. Nigga, that shit you just described was. is like, God damn. Yeah. That's, not like a, that's not like a horror movie. Like, yeah, it did. I had a, I had a conversation, conversation with a lot of pussy people. Fell like, out. Y'all have never seen the chart of different pussy, pussy, pussies? Yeah. <laughs> that pussy on there. Look, look, this, look, this, look, look, this, look. You got, but see, you have a chick that you be like, damn. No, this nigga say her panties was holding her pussy together. It was. She pulled that motherfucker off. That motherfucker. So where did you, where, where'd you find her at? <laughs> List crawler. <laughs> Backpack. <laughs> what did you pay for this? How, how much was it? Like, what happened? 
Hey, I didn't do it. That is, you didn't do, do what? That nigga nothing. asked for a refund. You did something. He like, you know I touched it, and I touched it. I was grossed out. Like, oh, no. no, no this nigga saw this shit fall out. No, 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 so it what did it, it wasn't like? dr- I didn't Whoa. taste it. What did it taste like? I didn't taste with it. it. Did your beard smell it. different? I didn't put it on my beard. Is that beard. why you got them little nope. colors here? Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. Beard gang. Put my okay. fingers in it. Uh-huh. But it you know, I'm, hold up, hold up. I'm, 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 did I'm, I'm weak. I, 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 I started doing like this. It made that noise. It didn't stink. So it was clean, bad pussy. Yeah. She probably overwashed that bitch. What? Overwashed? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, she hung that bitch out to dry. Oh, I got surprised people joined in. My wife didn't join in. My nigga <laughs> Denzel 2Ls didn't join in. Shout out. Y'all funny as hell. I am All I know how to do is hit the wave button. Is it anything else I'm supposed to do? I ain't learned that. Oh, shit. I ain't learned that. <laughs> Don't think I'm ignoring everybody. I see y'all over here. I got two motherfuckers on your life. What? A lot of people over here doing things. <laughs> they came and left. They left me? Fuck y'all too. What, what is the best advice y'all have been given? Ooh. Anybody? What's the best advice somebody ever told? Trust people to be themselves. Okay. You, fuck who, fuck with you. That's a good one. That's a great one. What about you? Me? Shit, too many people don't give me no advice. So, I'm gonna tell you, trust people to always be themselves. Yeah. A thief is gonna steal. I know that. A crackhead gonna get high. <laughs> Alcoholic, yeah. gonna drink. So, no oh, people be like, man, I brought my crackhead cousin in my house. I can't believe they did. Can't believe they stole from me. They stole from everybody else you know, but you didn't think they was gonna steal from you. That's, you was say That's some sure. real bullshit. It I know. Be me. I kind of like people coming over my house. I be tripping out. Trust he people do. to be themselves. They be, they be Trust Coop to be himself. I'm going to be me. I'm J9. Yeah, I'm going to be me don't too. Don't take me nowhere. You don't want me to crack no jokes. I crack jokes at funerals. The thing like, is, I don't care. The thing is, why invite people to your house if you're going to treat them a certain way, right? He probably didn't invite them. He did. He did. But he said, we can, we can go. We can you know what? Home. I'm going to tell y'all what happened. No, let me tell my story and then y'all going to tell, he going to tell his. I invited my teacher over my house. <laughs> I didn't tell cool. Nope, nope. This is how it went. We were supposed to go to the park. Everybody was going to be at the park. The park was packed as fuck. He like, well, we could just have it at our house. You know, everybody got their kids, our kids playing they in the, you know, in the back and the, getting wet, sprinklers, grown ups, you know. <laughs> so, adults was adulting, you know. Some adults was outside watching kids, you know. I kept asking Coop, you know, you want to come adult with us type shit. He like, no, nah, I'm good right now. Okay, cool. Well, I'm with the woman, the women, you know. I'm adulting, whatever the case might be. He come in there like, everybody, y'all kids outside. Y'all in this bitch thinking it's sweet. Go outside to y'all motherfucking kids. I don't give a fuck. I'll pay the water bill. Like, just going and left. Yeah. Instead of saying, you know, can y'all come check on y'all kids? They not listening. You do look aggressive. He big as fuck. That's why that nigga can't do interviews. You look aggressive. <laughs> that, and he was drinking. So and that's what he Oh yeah, out you like Simon on Blue Hill Avenue. They you know, you know, but for real. No, but for so real. So he like the gutter man. No, in but Black for City. real. But for real. And he and he come out there on tip instead of saying, you know, can y'all So when you drink, you get aggressive. Listen. When he drink, he, yeah. you lose control. No, I don't lose control. How long you been home? <laughs> I never was <laughs> Dang, catch him. <laughs> he told he on himself. <laughs> They gave that nigga a deal. So I want to go to the, uh, I, I like to talk so to the detective. How long you been home? <laughs> I like to talk to the detective in this case. It was me. Right? Okay, okay, so you tell us what happened. Give me this mic. Let me tell y'all what really happened. Break it down, folks, bro. Break it down. They never came outside. None of these parents ever came outside with their kids. I'm out there the whole time. They came in through the back to go in the house, left me out there with the kids. So babysitting. Basically. Then I came out there. This ain't no motherfucking babysitting clinic or whatever y'all want to call it. Daddy Come get y'all damn kids. They out there. That's, no, that's yeah. words exactly. This ain't no motherfucking daddy daycare. That's what it is. Wait, so did you ever tell the kids, like, hey, you little niggas tripping? Yeah, because they. And they didn't listen? No. They kept telling. They kept fighting. What kids do? They're not my kids, though. So you never I, hit nobody's kids? No. I don't know these kids. soft. No, I don't know the kids. It don't matter. You at my house? house? You right. You come to my house? <laughs> them, them they my little kids. kids. I don't give a fuck. What, look, how little? Like two, three. Oh, yeah, old, old enough to get their ass kicked. I, I could I could have hit them, but I'm like, I'm not hitting nobody's kids. I'm too big. You could have them. A little kid like that? You want to pick them up? Like, look here, little nigga. I'm, I was drunk. I'm drunk. Hey, hey, okay. Give them the ground. 
the parents, I mean, the other Everybody understand. Like, Look, if we on set, they know what that means. Yeah. If I'm at home, they know what that means. In the office, somebody tripping off? So, Everybody understand what that means. So the kids tripped on me. I went and tripped on their parents. So you got punked by the little kids. I probably did. So he went in the house like I just got, I just got punked by, by who? Some little niggas. Damn. Then he had his teenagers out there. But that wasn't that wasn't the thing either. They were throwing them at your ass one day. Why they were adulting? You guys think about this. Hit that big nigga. I said they can adult in in the not in the house, but they in the garage. The garage is attached to the house. So everything that's in, tunnel, so everything that's house. coming in in the garage coming in the house, and it's still a baby in the house, and I'm like, no, that's too much. My baby don't smoke that much, right? No, so, so is this before, or after you oh, said, no, hey, when you guess, guess what? Your fucking house, you ain't gotta be mindful how you say shit. So when you said, hey, we can have this at our house, not in my house, but if we were at the park, they couldn't smoke it outside at all. People gonna do that. They not at that the park. Car and went in the car, and, in the the car. and not at your house, cool. They could cool. still went to their car. Hey, cool. Who the king of your house? Huh? Who the king of your house? Me. Okay. Who who said they who who said what the fuck they want to at their house? <laughs> Me. And that's what he said. And I said that too. And King Kong and, and got, got shit, shit on him. Nigga says King Cooper in prison. Right. You better read your hand. She got to say something. She said what she wanted to say to <laughs> hey, me, but hey, they couldn't. Hey, okay. Okay. <laughs> You better read your motherfucking hand. Right. What your hand say? What your hand say? I'm not doing Cool. That. What her hand say? I'm making sure I do something cool for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, show, Kay. Show him your hand. Hold on. You gonna show show my people your hand. <laughs> show him your hand. What, what her hand say? King. King Cooper. Cooper. Hey, who is King Cooper? Him. There you go. Look. Keep going. My son. It my was your son. husband before Everybody it was your son. Right. <laughs> That's your, Keyshawn. Your son, the same little nigga that be hitting you in the head with shoes. His name Keyshawn. <laughs> your daughter named Keyshawn. No, it's okay. Ain't no judge. Nigga. Nigga. I'm not doing it. Boy one, boy two, and my baby. You call them niggas sometimes. I do not. Niggas hit your ass down. I've never said that to the kids. Yeah. I've never. You, you said that. I think. Anywho, you probably said that. Hey, we know Coop tell the truth. Anybody who you know loves Coop, for real. Coop tells the truth. They, they, the reason why they fucking with Coop is because they the same as fucking Coop. Oh, they shit. I'm the, I don't lie. I'm transparent. I'm transparent. I, I don't need to lie shit. Can't nobody do shit to me. That's fact. Whatever. I don't care. You know who people lie to? Person that they going to lose something from? I'm the boss. That's true. They scared. Yeah. That's fact. You going to get fired tomorrow? Hell no. Can't never fire me. What time I'm going to work? When the fuck I get there on clock? Okay, so what are you? What, what, I, I, is it this movie? Is that your work? What's your work? Yeah, I do whatever I decide to put my mind to. Okay. She's gonna be like, oh, this nigga. Said, but what you do? Like, you know, Will, I'm kind of a janitor on Tuesday, Thursday, <laughs> every Saturday. Oh, that's you know, right. Lincoln Middle I, I, School. I, I, I watch Windows on Thursday. He's talking about Lincoln Middle Lincoln, School. Lincoln Middle School, you know, I. I'm the custodian, but I'm the head custodian. So, how long have you been doing this, Legend? No, nah, I've been in this business since 2006. I've been an entrepreneur for the full time for the last 17 years. So, and what advice would you give to entrepreneurs or people who are looking to entrepreneurs? Stop listening to every goddamn body. Bet on yourself. Like, if it's something that you're trying to do and it, you know you got a vision for it, do that shit. Right. Stop telling every fucking body what you plan on doing. Because a lot of people... Because they can't do that shit with their fears and apprehensions on you. Because honestly, like when I was younger, I wanted to be a writer. And people was like, well, writers don't make no money. I wanted to be a filmmaker. Oh, you can't do that and this, that, and other. And being young and dumb, I listened to them dumb motherfuckers. So, you say niggas be in my movie, not this stuff. Yeah, you know they Like, I always knew you could do it. Bitch, you told me to quit. You told me I'm going to Knew you was going to be great. You know what I'm saying? Like, so how stop. Do you, how do y'all deal with that? I mean. Trust people to be who they are. Like, I know. Or Bill, who believe in you. And a lot of times, for me, I really don't give a fuck. Like, I know, I tell people all the time, I'm here. I trust, I trust me, I believe in me. So, when somebody else is like, oh, this ain't gonna happen, that ain't gonna happen. Like, okay, shit didn't work for you. Right. But then, about me. But then another thing with that is, like, one thing I had to learn, you gotta change your circles. That's you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, you know, you know, as kids, you taught that loyalty bullshit. Yeah. Like, be loyal to you. Be loyal to your family. 
You know what I mean? And just because you don't know somebody since the second grade don't mean they need to be in the space that you're in now. Right. Like, in order to elevate, you can't stay in the same circle. You know what I'm saying? Like, once upon a time, it was like, you know, I'm running around and all niggas had in common was we talking about hoes and hitting licks. Well, you can't do that your whole life. Then it's like, it went from that to, okay, cool. Now, I'm trying to run business. Let me be around people that run business. Then it's, well, I want to need to be around people that earn six figures. Then, now it's, I want to be around motherfuckers as millionaires. You know what I'm saying? Because as you shift from where you were to where you want to be, the conversations are different. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I look at the people that I talk to on a regular basis, it's people who, you know, live certain lifestyles. And organically through those conversations, not even that we're talking about business, but you find the like-mindedness and you pick up a lot of shit. I had a friend of mine who was a, a VP of a Fortune 500 company and she's got her own liquor company. And a lot of times we'll be having conversations and she'll use certain words that was over my head. I'll write them bitches down yeah. and then Google them. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, well, this is what this is called. This, but it was just me organically learning from somebody that was in a higher position than I was in. That's what you want. You want to be in a situation where you're constantly elevating yourself. You know what I mean? Like, with him, he don't need me. If he don't fuck with me at all, he's still going to go get the bag. He's going to do what he do. Those are the people that you that you want around, the people that don't need you. But how can we benefit from each other? We work well together. You know what I mean? Because when you put around a bunch of motherfuckers that just need your ass, they're never going to tell you you're wrong. Cause they're afraid of what's gonna like you look back it's at 50 cent and floyd mayweather 50 always said because i was already independent doing my thing i had my own money i could tell floyd he was fucking up and i didn't agree with what he did nobody else would say nothing because floyd provided the bad yeah. Yeah. so in his mind it's like shit. these are all yes men i don't want that around me right. like for me if you're not doing nothing with your life we can't be friends like i got pre-reg i will not be your friend if you don't have a car <laughs> you don't have like I'm like you, you laughing. I'm, no, that's, that's for real. That's real. Dead dead. I'm real about it. Like, that's I tip all the time. But us to kick it and hang out, all I want is for you to have good conversations and let's be cool. That's it. You know. That's all you gotta do to be his friend. You gotta have a car, good conversation, and be cool. You gotta cool. do something with your life, but I don't need nothing from you and I don't want you to need nothing from me. Right. I got so you. like I give you an example. I'm cool with a guy, I call him B. He got a clothing line, Stone Jump. B don't need me necessarily for nothing. We chop it up, we kick it, we laugh, we talk about women, we talk about sports, we talk about finances. It ain't like, hey, bro, man, I need you for this. He called me, I need... No, so we can kick it and be cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, he got something he working on that he building. He don't necessarily feel his ultimate goal. He's trying to make his clothing line be national. So we both got a, a understanding. I'm cool with DJ Lish. Lish is in the strip club world. I'm not in the strip club world. But he's an independent person that has goals and aspirations to do something great with his life. So we can get along. A nigga that don't want to do nothing, you comfortable exactly where you at, you're not going to understand me. Because as I'm pushing and I'm like, hey, you know what, can I, you want to go out tonight? No, I can't because I'm working on X, Y, and Z. Oh, you want some bullshit? No, I'm not. We need I got to, goals. I got goals. And you don't understand it because you're going to work at your little job for the rest of your life. You don't want to be nothing else but what you are. Content. So it, it, it's complacent. We're not the same. And I don't understand it. I don't agree with it. Like, I'm I'm transparent. So my guys went to Bali and I think Belize last year. they like, oh, I'm like, well, look, I can take that same 14000 and put it in post-production for a movie. Yeah. I'm working on something. They, hey, we feel you. We're going to send you some pictures and videos. Do your thing. That's a real nigga for you. Yeah. The nigga, oh, bro, man, don't worry about all that. Man, you can do this anytime. That means you don't understand and you yeah, don't respect what I'm doing. Don't and get the fuck away from So me. at that point, I don't want to deal. I agree. That's facts right there. You just got some people cut off. No, no, <laughs> no, no, but you know what? Like, like, here, here go the funny thing. When you say a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, that's a hundred percent real. Here, here, here's the funny thing. I tell people all the time: you need to do a life audit because it's a lot of people that's in your life that you gave that position to a long time ago that don't that, deserve to be there. That, that don't deserve you to be hanging on where to you are now. That's what you, you know hang what on to. Well, y'all don't have nothing in common no more. You I, hang on to history. Oh, you know. Pay attention to the conversations. Hey, bro, where little Mark is at, man? I ain't seen that nigga in a long time. Hey, you still talk to, to, to Tasha? Hell yeah, I talk to her sometimes. Damn, nigga, you remember when we were 16? We used to be playing ball. This yeah, y'all yeah, on that. Y'all on that. Y'all on that. Y'all on that. It's about the past all the time because there's no growth. Yeah. There's no future. There's no aspirations. So for me, if we 
If that's all we got, it's no beef. I still like when it. When I see you, it's love. It's love. Right. But I can't fuck with you on a regular basis because you're not going where I'm going. Right. And and the thing about it, you have to understand, success takes sacrifice. It, it takes sacrifice. And when you got somebody, you people talk about jealousy and envy. They're two different things. I can sit here and be like, damn, man, that nigga don't deserve that beer. He shouldn't have had his snack. That's somebody who's jealous. Somebody yeah, who's yeah, envious. They look at right, a beer he like, way more pussy than you. He deserves a beer. Damn, man. <laughs> How can I? And a lot of times people become envious and they don't mean to be, but they're not doing the same thing. I can remember being with a group of niggas and it was like, damn, this is what you drive? Niggas ain't driving what you drive. You think you better than everybody else in this life? Do y'all niggas make the same sacrifices? No, everybody don't deserve to be successful. But then the fucked up part about that is when you add on, it creates a sense of entitlement. Because if we getting up and we grinding every day. Yeah. We at the office all the time. But I got a line for that. Got a line for that. I say, I, I, be t- I have to tell her all the time, like certain people can't do what everybody do. Like, mm-hmm. I'll be like, we do we everybody can't do what everybody do. Like everybody can't do what we do. Or everybody, everybody can, can yeah. be a part of the team. Yeah. But if you understand your role, and I tell people this. I ain't had nobody who like I know some niggas who uh, get up and go, they go party every weekend. Go to the titty bar, do this, do that, blow their money. Where we take the money, we put it into the movies. Right. Mm-hmm. So when the return comes. And you go and you boss up and it's like, oh, this nigga used to have forty thousand dollar watch. He got a ninety thousand dollar watch. They look at him like, damn. Well, how you do that, nigga? You ain't never come and say, bro, can I give you two thousand? Right. I want to be. A, I just want to be. You might not get the pie. Yeah. Shit. Sometimes the crust is better than nothing. It yeah. is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You look at Usher. Usher was the minority owner of the Cavs. Did he own Dan Gilbert share? No. But guess what? When they won a championship and all that money came in. Usher got his piece. LeBron James got his piece of beats by Dre. So it's okay to be a part of something. A lot of motherfuckers, they, they like you said, entitlement. Because I know you, we in it. I had an uncle, my uncle tell me one time, hey, I know you're going to take care of the whole family. No, the fuck, fuck I'm not. I don't even like Why would y'all. I do that? Because <laughs> who take care of me? Right. Who look out and want to be with me? It's that, especially when you dealing with family and you know... They know you got shit that you're trying to do, and then you try to put them on, you know, like, okay, maybe y'all don't do podcasts, and maybe it's something else y'all want to do. And then you're finally, you know, getting your shine, your flowers, and you moving up, and then it's all like, oh, but you, you don't fuck with us like that no more. It's like, yeah, I, but I can't use the opportunity. It's like, I can't. And see, and I'm bad, because I'll be like, I don't. 100%. <laughs> I don't. I get mad when I do that. Yeah, I, I don't, don't answer, like, I don't answer my phone. Like, if I'm one of these people that, and he'll tell you. If I don't fuck with you, you 100% no. Yeah. It ain't like him. Do K, you ain't got to ask him. Do K like me? He don't. No, I'm going to let you know. I don't fuck with you. It, like, and it's, again, it's some people he okay with. I'm like, you know, I don't really fuck with them like that. No, I'd be like that. It's cool. I'm cordial, but yeah. we're we not. Yeah. We and all that. Mm-hmm. Last question. What do y'all want y'all legacy to look like when it's all said and done? Did you read your cards today? I did. Did I read any of mine? Yeah. No, I didn't. I don't think she read she shit. I didn't know. my mind. You taking my card. No, ours was mixed. Why don't she talk about this? Our last question. She ain't right. her damn cards. Have you ever blown up, called, or texted repeatedly without getting a response? <clears throat> Someone's phone before, if so, what was the reason? You already crazy. We know. No, I didn't do that. Y'all ain't like, never did that. No. Blown up what? Like, they phone, like, called or texted repeatedly. If the, motherfucker didn't, repeatedly. if the motherfucker didn't answer, they didn't want to talk to me. So you've never in your life called. I'm a real chill. Or t- like, Me personally, I'm real chill. Like you know, how guys like, oh, I didn't, I didn't start the girl. I just said I was gonna kill myself. I, no, I, I ain't said all that. No, hear me. I'm selfish. I think I'm the greatest person ever. So you ain't did that. You can be replaced. No, you know what's funny about me? If I call you twice and you don't call back or answer, I take your number off my phone. So y'all ain't never did that one time. You clearly, not, you clearly I, don't want to talk to me. I should have took your number on my phone. Hold up, but then, <laughs> hold up, but then the funny part is when the motherfucker hits you up and you text it back like, "Who is this? Who is this?" Oh, for real? You no, ain't that's for sure. They lying. I have a big ego. Like that's for sure. They lying. I got a huge ego, so you're not gonna damage my ego. I'm not gonna allow it. The last one that I got. You say the last. No, you gotta answer it. What? Have you ever did that? Yeah, I did it last night. <laughs> <laughs> you was, uh, uh, was out with Tyquisha and then you wouldn't answer the phone. We was out together. You was out adulting. It was 
we was together. It was all of us. And she got out of so. my car. So she was with somebody else, so I was trying to make sure. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Here you go. Here well, you go. Where's you at? I was She's at home. home. She's at home. Yeah. Why wasn't you answering? Yeah, your phone don't work? Because I clearly, I see your phone work. I wasn't trying to talk message. to him. We was not seeing out of eye. Okay, so you couldn't just shoot him a text and let your husband? No, I did. Communication I was, is everything. Like, I was like, I'm on my way home. His mom was at the house watching the kids. I was like, she's gonna, I'm like, i sure she's going to let you know when I get there. Why did it take multiple calls? Because you was upset. You was yeah, in your phone. Just no, 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 but that's your husband. You and, I, and I let my husband know I was on my way home. But why but take you don't multiple calls to do that? So at what, at what point did you realize that, you know what, I'm supposed talking. to respond to him? He want to keep calling and talking and trying to defuse the situation. But right now I'm on my way home. I don't want to talk right now because so, we're so arguing. So wait a minute. So, be, so because he was trying to be the peacekeeper, he the problem. Now he being a peacekeeper. He was trying to protect you. You said, yeah, hold up, me hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You said, <laughs> how crazy was it? You said he was trying to defuse the situation. He was going left and I just did not want to argue. I just wanted to go home. He was going left trying to defuse the situation. I, I, that sounds like a good man. Hold on, how, how crazy was he in Texas? <laughs> was it after drinks when you lose control? Okay. Hell yeah, that's why it all started. Because he lost control. He be going crazy. So you have an issue with control. He got an issue. They was a little bit bad. See what I'm I, saying? I and he was harassing me. And I'm not trying to argue. I just want to go think, home. <laughs> so instead of... <laughs> Look, he read it I'm like, damn, exactly, I said this shit. Exactly. To prevent the argument, I'm like, I'm on my way home. What up, Will? I'm good. But you see, and I ain't responding to shit. You the worst wife ever. What type of old ass shit is that? Like, yeah, but damn. look, he ain't say nothing about the horse though. I just crashed. He told say I just crashed. That when you read that one, he said I'm dead. Wait, yeah, I just come, crashed. come back and save me. Oh, I ain't seen nothing next. I was at home. He said I just crashed. It's your fucking fart. You clearly not crashed. I didn't crash. You still my wife, and I make sure you say whatever. Like he's just. He's like, <laughs> he said I just I, died. I'm back alive. You see what I mean? Cause you my heart. I was drunk. Crazy shit. Like, what do you oh. what do you drink? Well, I don't. He clearly I, don't need to drink. What they what, did you what drink? they gave me? I don't think it was what it was. No, it was it, it, he was. That nigga was about to end up with Devo chicken. Cook. She gave me a, a, a <laughs> it was a double a triple like it was, triple shot. Of it was triple shot. I think he had three of those. I had three of them. You had three and triple shots. I didn't know. He, well, he I'm just a, fucking. He just throw his shit back because he forget like that shit's well, gonna catch up. And it all hits him at one time, and it's like bro. But I wasn't. I went to the drunk point where I couldn't drive. I no, you was just I, just, I just was on. I was just on tip. Wait, what? I'm glad that nigga ain't catch no case last night. God damn. No, I want to go catch. I, I, I can control all that. What part of town you from? E course. What part of town y'all hang out on? We, we hang out everywhere. Like where? Last yeah. night we was in um, Mount Clemens. We don't get violent with other people. Okay. We just stay oh, just oh, with yeah, each other. No, no, yeah, no, just, no, it's cool. I just want to make sure I don't be where you be at. Yeah. No, you no, good. No, you driving. I'm going to tell you this. Hey, that no, nigga no, be no, where the pussy good. fall out. Like, I'm, no, not gonna tear my, I'm not going to tear my car. <laughs> I'm not even worried about the car because I got insurance, but yeah. I don't, don't want to get hurt. No, I'm not, no, no nobody going to get hurt unless you. I'm going to tell you how you could get hurt. Like, if I'm going By ignoring your calls. Clearly. If you try to jump in this phone ring one more time, if you don't answer it. Somebody oh, gonna die. Fuck that. I'm at my mom. I bitch. killed myself. Your name ain't Coop Simpson, is it? I never said I killed myself. <laughs> no, I fucking just crashed. It's your fault. It ain't Coop Simpson. I just died. Oh. Fuck you, wife. Any, okay, I'm back to life. Got any relations to OJ? Come get me. No. No? Let me see your hands. I still had a good time, though. Did the gloves fit? Sure the fuck no. you did. Gloves don't fit? Sure you did. What was my other question? That it was it. Even, it don't even matter. It's okay. No, it, no, no. It's okay. last July 22nd, the Bel Air Theater. We there. 7 o'clock. We there. Red carpet. Absence of innocence. Those who need tickets, you can hit me up. 586-255-5636. You can go to ibmedia.com. I-Y-B-E-M-E-D-I-A.com. If you need to email me, ibmedia at gmail.com. Uh, I'm on Instagram. I am Casey Carson. Facebook. Casey Carson, that's just the initials. You can, you want to do your own, or you, you, you want me to throw it up for you? How, how are we doing this today? <laughs> and if you would like to reach me, you can catch me at <laughs> www.iamlegendkw.com. Oh, I'm about to say. Look, look, that's your shit again. No, that was it. It's an air fryer or something. <laughs> She's like, Coop the wings done. <laughs> no, or, Coop. Catch, or you can catch me on Instagram, I am Legend KW. Dog. Oh, and we out.